Meanwhile, Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi has warned politicians to watch their tongues, saying the stability of the country should not be sacrificed at the altar of temporary inflation of passions. Matiangi maintained all leaders should follow the guidelines outlined by the National Security Advisory Committee regarding holding of public meetings within the confines of the law. A day after the National Security Advisory Committee read the Riot Act for politicians allegedly contravening the law and MOH guidelines on COVID-19, Interior CS Dr. Fred Matiangi cautioned politicians against propagating hate. He challenged the leaders to think of the country's stability. Not repeat mistakes we have done before and we know where we are going to go with those kinds of mistakes. Where leaders take the platform and just basically say anything. It doesn't matter whether they are lying or not. It doesn't matter whether they are hurting uh, people or not. We cannot live that way. We have a responsibility. And I want to call upon you, my brothers and sisters, that Kenya is ours, all of us. And therefore, we have an equal responsibility, all of us, to build it, to ensure it is stable, and to ensure that we hand it over to our children and our children's children better than we even found it. That way, we'll then have made a sensible contribution. At the same time, he urged Kenyans to adhere to the restrictions and guidelines set, adding that it is everyone's responsibility to protect the stability of the nation. We have to safeguard our society for us, for ourselves, not for someone else, for us. And let's keep sending this message, you know, going one person at a time and engaging in these conversations, that as a country, we are always better than this. So the National Security Advisory Committee issued a directive that conveners of all public meetings and public processions shall notify the officer commanding station, OCS, of such intent at least three days before the proposed date. It also directed individuals who choose to address any public meeting that they shall be bound by legal penalties and obligations. The National Cohesion and Integration Act which bars speeches, utterances and messages that borders ethnic balkanization. The guidelines have since sparked varied opinions. Betty Kiptum, Channel 1 News.